Hitlist.io Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of You Deserve Fresh Lettuce. I am your co-host Rachel. And I'm Daya. And in this episode we're going to be talking about is he investing, investing in, in you? you? Don't forget to follow us on social media at YBFL Podcast. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast platform, don't forget you can also watch us on YouTube. So subscribe, listen, and share with three friends. Yeah. And you can ask Alexa, Alexa to play the latest, latest episode of You Deserve Fresh Lettuce. Let's get Or start in. from the beginning too, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or season one. <laughs> or catch season up. one. Yeah, catch, catch up. up. All right. So is he investing in you? So what exactly are we talking about here? I mean, we're going to go all the way back from like the moment he starts dating you all the way until you guys have already been together, married, whatever the situation is. So I think uh, when it comes to the investing part, I, I think it has to do with time, money. It has to do with um, how you know he sees you. Is he taking the time? Um, literally, that it kind of is like a big smorgasbord of things. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. do you think? No, I agree with you. So yeah. there is the financial investment, and what does that look like? So right. that basically can begin with, does he want to take you to dinner? We talked about this in an earlier right. episode about dating right. or going with the float. Like, does he want to actually take you to dinner? Right. Or is he just saying, hey, like hitting you up, what are you doing? Uh, you should come by Netflix and chilling type yeah. thing. Like, yeah. is, that, is that investing? No. Kind so, of. no, so... Uh, Here's the thing, like I've obviously we've been single for a very, very long time. I know that when I first got divorced, you know, I had an issue if someone was like, well, let's just meet at the bar because I just felt like it was so informal, uh, yeah. in my opinion, to just be like, we're just going to meet at the bar. We're just going to have an appetizer at the bar. Um, and then basically the way that this particular person described it was sometimes it, the, the person that you're initially, you know, dating doesn't want to make that hefty investment because they are not sure if it's going to go anywhere. So why take you to Mastro's and drop two, three hundred dollars? So you're talking like the first date, like right? the first date. Yeah. So, yeah. but I do feel that um, the first dates are indicative of what's to come, possibly. Yeah. And so they always say too, don't give them everything because then they're going to expect more. Meaning, if they do take you on the first date to Mastro, then you're going to be expecting possibly a lot of those types of dates coming along and maybe when they're maybe five dates in it's more master style maybe you may say i don't want to sit at the bar i mean it just it really kind of matters on your flow and how you flow with the person if if you know it's just kind of a chillaxing you know sunday you're going to watch a game okay you can sit at a yeah. bar and kind of hang out if it's saturday night you want to get dressed up wear heels and a nice dress and then all of a sudden they want to sit you at the bar that could be a problem yeah, that could be a problem. It is. And I think that, um, I think for me, the main indication is, you know, if we were talking about like most average people, right? So most average people maybe don't go to Mastro's, but most average people might just say, let's just say if you live in suburban America, which right. is most of the country, they might go, oh, okay, you know, BJ's Brewery or like, you know, Yard House or, you know, TJ Friday, right. I don't know, your, your flow in your city right. and stuff like that. We live in the suburbs, you know, it's kind of like those regular restaurants. Yeah. At least that they want to say, hey, let's meet up. Or like we've talked about in the past about the whole, like, let's meet for coffee right. um, on the way to work. Okay, cool. And then you know what? I'd love to take you to dinner tonight. That's like an investment. Right. I think that if we then progress in time and now you've been dating for a year and stuff like that, is he buying you things? Like, or maybe it's six months in. Maybe it's three months in. Maybe once you have the official title. Right. Because a lot of you ladies, let's be honest, you guys yeah. are going with the flow and you're not even titled up and you're like a year deep with no right. title, not even knowing where you stand. Right, so true. And that's a problem. That is a problem. But it goes back to what we always talk about. It's the ruffling feathers. If I tell him, well, what, what are we? And if he says, we're just kind of going with the flow, I don't really want anything serious, but maybe come Friday, Saturday night, you have nothing better to do. Yeah. So there you go nudging and calling him. And it goes back to what we always say also, you can't receive when your hands are full or when your yeah. hands are tied. So if the guy's not really making the investment as a man to show you that he wants to treat you as a, like a lady, then I mean, what are you doing there? Because you really have to take the, that time and take that consideration to say, I need to find someone that actually values me. And that's not to say that they have to take you to Masters or they have to take you shopping no, or they have yeah. to buy you these things. Um, but at least where they're actually investing time and effort and it's not just you saying, 
I made reservations here, we're gonna go there, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. And maybe he's not with it and he doesn't care to do it. And that's the thing. Look, at the end of the day, I think if you're sitting here going, well, I don't know, like, you know, I'm not about the material things. There's gonna be some of you watching this, but right. it's not all about material. Let me tell you this. If all he's giving you, if you kind of do a, a, a quick little overview audit, whatever you want to call it, and you just look at the situation, maybe right. you've been there six months, maybe it's six years. Right. I don't know. And if you look at the situation and all you're doing is getting fed and getting the D, it's probably serving him because he has to eat too. Right. More right. than it's serving you. So like at the end of the day, are you just going along for the ride of like, well, he wants sucks and he wants food and so do I and I happen to be <laughs> with him in the car and so he's killing two birds with one stone like yeah. yeah I'll feed her I'm hungry he's saying I'm hungry but you know she's with me so here's what I'm gonna give her and also I'm in the mood and she's the one in front of me so she's the one that's gonna get it yeah like are you getting that kind of stuff by default and that's where we're saying guys if you're listening going gosh these women are all about material things no you got to go far and beyond the D and far and beyond the meal. And it right. has to be like, what's the little thing? Did you see, you know, the guy selling the five, $10 roses on the side of the road? Did right. you go, I don't care if it's Walmart, by the way, I heard recently that Walmart's jewelry is actually, um, the same manufacturer that does Tiffany's or something. You guys could Google it and see if it's real, wow. but it's like, do you see a pair of earrings? It's like 150 bucks. Like maybe you get that for her. She doesn't right. have the notes from freaking Walmart or wherever it's from. Like right. at the end of the day, it's like these little gestures and they're like these little indicators that, that you he's value thinking, and her he's thinking about you, yeah. and that you're thinking, right. And that he's thinking about yeah. you. So at the end of the day, I think it's, that's more of what we're talking about. Right. Well, but you know what? I, I will say that, you know, because of what we're doing, I know that sometimes I, I'll get DMs and they're like, well, should I take her out to dinner or should I just take her to a coffee shop? And I always say, look, if it's a first, first date, it just depends. Like, what exactly, like, when you see this person, what do you see in this person? Do you see that there's a possibility of a future? So, I mean, would you would you not invest in your future? If you, if you saw that there's a positive or a good future, then you probably would. If you think it might be something very casual, nonchalant, maybe you just want to, you know, sit down and have coffee with her. And I think over coffee, you can kind of tell, engage, if it's going to go anywhere, in my opinion. I feel like it's pretty simple. Um, yeah. You ask the questions and the answers that you get or receive or the way that they look at life, it may not be aligning with you. So it may just yeah. take, you know, a sit down for coffee where you're like, yeah, it's probably not going to work. He's a great guy, but not for me. Um, but maybe but sometimes. But also it depends on like where you met, right? Because if right, you're talking true. about like an office kind of little thing and flirting right. at the coffee machine, you might not need to do coffee. You could probably yeah. say, hey, I'd like to take you to dinner and you make a little more of that investment, pick right. her up or after work or whatever the situation right. is. So you have to kind of really gauge, gauge it. Gauge that, yeah. And we've talked so about true. it in a past episode. If you don't know the guy, what to do. So yes. listen to that episode if you want to know. But, but as far as like the investment, so let's just pretend like now you've been married 10 years. Right. Okay. And the guy is literally Ted Bundy, like Al Bundy. He just sits on the, not Ted Bundy, my goodness. Um, Al Bundy. And he sits <laughs> yeah. on the couch, you know, one hand in his pants, and he's just like watching Animal Planet. Yeah. You might be able to look at him and go, you know, he's a lump on the log, but he's my lump on the log, and he's not running amok in the streets. Right. Even women who can find the most gratitude in the most challenging situations still need a little something, a little indication. Mm -hmm. And I was going to ask you about this. I see so many women going, if I make dinner, you should do the dishes to show me you love me. Right. Is that really like a thing? Like, what do you think about that? Um, huh. That's a good question. I think that it should be something that's more communal. So if that's even a word, <laughs> really, but, it, but it should be, uh, I'm not saying that he has to, um, but it would be nice. Like I think, I think in the past, whenever like I've, I've dated and you know, I'm going to make breakfast and all of a sudden they get up and then they want to help with dishes. I'm always kind of shocked. Like you don't have to, but it's always like endearing to me to say, Oh, okay, great. This is like kind of teamwork. Like I made breakfast. You're kind of drying the dishes. I'm not saying he has to do that for me. It, it's not a have to. But for me, it's nice to see it yeah. just because it's like, okay, he, he's respecting, acknowledging, appreciating that I did this for him. So he's going to help me with that. That allows us to par probably get ready to go on a hike. And so it kind of helps us finish. Now, I, um, I have a problem when it's like, well, you don't effing do this. And, and you have a list of things that, uh, that, that the, the person doesn't, doesn't effing uh, do. I think the that there's an issue there. I think there's a way to, to kind of communicate with your partner to say, hey, you know, if I do this, I'd really appreciate that. And, and it, it goes back to what we say. It's like, 
it's the delivery it's the way that you deliver the, the message um but you know that's kind of been my experience i don't i don't think it's a, it's a thing is asking for it now ruining the novelty of receiving it Absolutely. Yeah. Because see? because it's like it's one of those things like when you ask okay, for instance, like we're parents and you ask your kids, please pick up your masks and you have to tell them two or three times and then it gets <laughs> annoying. But if you walk into the living room and everything's picked up or the kitchen, everything's picked up, you're like <gasps> You're kind of shocked, like, oh, I didn't even have to ask. And then now it, you come from a place of gratitude to say, thank you. Unless like, that you're was a so awesome. Unless you're a toxic one, then yeah. you're going to be like, what the hell did he do, do that right? he must feel bad about something? Right? Some of right. you are out there right. getting flowers from your man. Some of you are out there getting these little things done. Maybe he's making dinner tonight. And your little toxic ass is sitting there going, I wonder what he what freaking he did. did. But he might have just watched the You Deserve Fresh Lettuce podcast and went, you know what? I should probably step I it should up. probably, you know what, <laughs> cook the person in the corner for 10 bucks, you know, yeah. and like get him some, you know, buy some flowers from him and bring them home to my wife, my yes. girlfriend, my significant other. Now, another thing though, on a side note, kind of on the same topic that I've noticed that has happened to me disclaimer like two times um where i've gone to lunch with someone like maybe we dated a couple of times and all of a sudden it's like i need half of the tab you know and absolutely um, and that's always been a little bit I, I get it like but see i'll tell you because i do have young daughters that are okay with that because that's the way that they're being raised and conditioned i know that our generation has been conditioned and raised a little different where you just, and it's not the assumption, by the way, like I always offer, but it's one of those things where they just expect to pay half. And, you know, it's like we're, we're kind of taking the role of the man and just kind of minimizing it by saying, here's half the money. Like you're literally, I don't know, like chopping off their balls. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> In other words. So as yeah. someone with the, with the, so she yeah. has two daughters that she raised. Right. I had two sons that I raised. And when I tell you it was like absolutely positively part of my narrative to them that if you are old enough to date, you yeah. must be also able to afford the date. Meaning like if you don't have money and you're 19 years old, you probably can't afford to have a girlfriend, so to speak, right. because if you're going to pay for the movies or whatever. So like my thing is that, but let me tell you, the females in their life have often liked them to an extent where they go, Oh, it's okay. Like I'll pay okay, for it. Yeah. And the girls, young girls. So if you're a mother of daughters, know that there's a part of your daughters that likes the guy so much. She's willing to go. It's okay. Like I'll if pay, you didn't yeah. get paid this week, I'll I'll pay. And my right. older son, he was all about it. He was like, I mean, I told her I'm not gonna get paid till next week, and she's like, it's okay. Like you know. And I mean, he, I mean, my younger one has it too, but the older one really, he was really vocal oh, right. about it. And so that he would go to all these places and then she'd be like, it's okay. And I would say, well, if you don't get paid till next week, how are you? You know, when he was younger and he's like, well, cause she offered and then I'll just take her somewhere. Right. So he got to see, and I got to witness by default right. that the girls were in a state of like almost chasing. So yeah. it was like, they understood their, their little bit of power already at a young age of like, mm -hmm. I make my little money at Starbucks or wherever they work, Target or whatever. And then I'm going to use it to like take me and this boy out. Right. But guess what, young girls, if you're listening, that boy might say yes to you on that date just because you have the means to cover that date. Right. Not because he genuinely likes you more than the other girl. Right. Of course. Of course. So, and it happens uh, a lot more often than not. And I know that, like, you know, from my personal experience, it's it's shifted a lot from when I was younger to what I see now. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I, I know that, like, one of the times when we had gone out, I mean, it was like a $20 tab. And no, he asked me for half the money. And obviously, he went strictly into the friend zone because he invited me out. And I'm like, okay, no big deal. Like, I always offer. And I think it's also a nice gesture, in my opinion, not to just be a taker, taker, taker. And I know some of you women might give me splash back on yeah, this. I'm, gonna, I, I'm about to splash yeah, water. Yeah, <laughs> splash water. I mean, yeah. but I do think that every once in a while, we're human. And every once in a while, I think it's it's the gift of sharing and giving. So it's nice for you to also have that kind gesture to say thank you. Like, I've been very blessed, though, with, okay, I'm, I'm sharing really negative experiences, but I've been very blessed with to have, with very generous yeah. men where they wanted to buy me Rolexes and drop off new cars and, and you name it. 
Um, but I, I don't take advantage of that. I'm very grateful, I'm very gracious, and I'm always very aware and alert, and I'm always ready and willing to, you know, maybe get them something, maybe get them a cologne, maybe get them board shorts if we're going on vacation, or get them something extra, just because I think it's, it's also nice to be humanly to say you did this for me and I'm gonna also do this for you. And yeah. not not be not be equal by no, the way. But yeah. but it's nice to give and take. I think that in the, my opinion. So the way that, that would look, if you in case you're listening to this or watching and you're wondering, well what does that actually look like right. in the real world, right? Right. So it would be something like this. He takes you to the movies, maybe you pay for Popcorn, a snack, maybe. The, yeah. the snack. You know, he takes you to dinner, maybe you cover the tip. If or you, or maybe not tip, but maybe Maybe you guys are going to spend the weekend and you go and get coffee and like maybe yeah, breakfast early but it, in the But morning. that's what it looks like. Like, yeah. you know, you do this because at the end of the day, some women do have that need to feel like they need to at least offer. Right. You also have to figure out what that is. Um, because I know that for me, if someone, a, a man, I'm not yeah. talking about my girlfriends, but if a man invites me on a date... I am to assume that he's assuming the responsibility of that date. Right. And so, and, it, and I've been yet, not even once, been asked to pay. And also, I didn't take out my card. Like, okay. So when the bill came, I didn't go reaching for my purse and like even so you just to stand, it. So you just sit. Matter I was fact. invited to the date that the gentleman's inviting me to the date. Yeah. And I'm being the woman and yeah. letting him take me on a date. Okay. So there's no uh, masculine energy of right. me trying to be like, oh, it's okay. Like... So to me, although in my heart of hearts, I'm a very generous person when right. I'm in a relationship. Yeah, like, yeah. I but I'm also aware that he needs to be the man, and if he invited me out, so I don't even reach and I don't do none of that. And actually, I should say in the very beginning, ladies, um, I did. It was like very fresh out. I was like, oh, okay, because I didn't really know the rules of engagement yeah. or anything, and I kind of went and he was like, what are you doing? And it was almost a little bit like insulting right. um, that I was. If you're with a group. man's man, though, by the way, because it's happened to me, a man's man yeah. will be like, "Please what? never do that Please again. Do that. <laughs> yes. Never do that again." Yes. Now, the way that you kind of sort out the man's man versus like the children is like they're ready and willing to say, "No, it's okay. You go ahead and cover the tip." And so, if if. <laughs> And you know, at the end of the day, I, I'm not necessarily pulling out the card to play like I'm, I'm faking it. Like if they, if he takes a card, cool, I'll, I'll pay half of it. But I at least know where I'll also stand. Will you like it, or you won't like no, it? No, no, no. I mean, honestly, I won't like it. But I, will, I would pay. But then I know where I stand with him because I'm sure that if we went back to his place, he'd want to oh. sleep with me. Oh yeah. So that oh, wouldn't yeah. even be a question. So if I'm gonna give up something. Like I'm good, you know. I'm not saying that I'm trying to be a prostitute <laughs> over this. Yeah. But I'm saying is, you where's know, the where's the exchange? Yeah. Really. So. Yeah. And that's kind of going back to where I was saying too. Right. Like, if he's already gonna eat, and he's like, well, "What do you want?" Because right. you're just with him. So now you're eating, and then he's like, "Now he's in the mood," and then now you're getting the D or whatever. Because guess what? He's in the mood. Like. That's kind of like you're just going along for the ride. He's not right. investing in you. He may have bought you that double cheeseburger or whatever it is that he went through the drive through <laughs> to get. And he thought about you because he said you want the large fries or the whatever. If that's your situation, but he's not he's like, he's but not baby, investing. he's super sad. But baby, this is what I got. <laughs> but baby, like, I'm super sad. He is me. not investing in you. So yeah. investing would be like, that could be your day-to-day -day normal life together. And that's cute and everything. But if he says, hey, babe. I planned a little something. I, I mean, he has a little blanket, right? A little thing, and now you're going to the beach. Doesn't even right. cost extra money. The guy could have got a subway sandwich and cut it into like two pieces or whatever. Right. It's the little extra effort of things that has the most value, right? And it's not necessarily the fancy gifts, but it's the energy that's put forth, of course. And I think that that's important, like to mention on the show because we do understand that there are people that are not in the economic situation, especially right. married men. Right. They feel like, oh God, I gotta pay for this, and I gotta pay for that, and then on top of it, I gotta figure out this like But fancy I think stuff. also, also though, about the, it goes back to the investing part. It's the time, right? It's like the investment right. of time. Like if you're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna pick you up at 7 p.m. and then all of a sudden it's eight and they're not there, and it's nine and they're not there, and oh, then it's that's 10 another thing. and they're not there, and then all of a sudden it's like, I'm sorry, I got caught up. And so now, like, they're wasting your time. It's, like, not even an investment. It's, like, 
you know, you have to take people into consideration. If we agreed that we were going to meet at 7 p.m., I had to shift, make all the arrangements, yep. whether you have children or not, yep. whether you have like, whether it's dad's weekend or it's not dad's weekend, or if you're single, if you had to work, if you have to work the next day, you literally have to clear out your schedule to make that 7 p.m. work. And if the person's being inconsiderate, whether it's a man or a woman, and they're not showing up on time and they're doing this consistently, that to me is a lack of investment because they're not taking your time into consideration and they're not really acknowledging you or even respecting your time. And that's a big deal also when people it are is. doing that or they continuously cancel you. That's a red and that's, flag. That's horrible. Like that, I think at that moment it's like, you know what, I'd rather go to Barnes and Noble, pick up a book, read, have some freaking latte, then to have to wait yeah. for this man to figure out whether or not he wants to be available seven, eight, nine, ten o'clock. And then by then I'm, I'm kind of angry where I'm like, you know, just don't come like, yeah. or just like, yeah. don't even show up. It, it does make a big difference in it. And it is like exactly what Delia is saying. At the end of the day, they have to value you. And, and trust and me, when a guy is time. really into you, He'll be into you, and there'll be random things that here and there because of work or whatever. Yeah. But if but you gotta watch what happens consistently. It's not what they do once in a while. It's what they do on a consistent basis that matters. Right. And we could probably do a whole episode just on on having the words match the actions because it really is a thing. Right. The integrity. But when he's making an investment in you, you have to really figure out. We've talked about love languages last right. season. Figure out your love language and be completely honest about that. Right. Um, men, if you're watching this and you're like, oh, my God, how the hell am I supposed to know her love language? Really pay attention to what she does for you. Right. Because as women, we tend to do for others what, what we, we like. hope that people would do for us, for us yeah. without having to ask. So she might make your coffee in the morning. She might be of service, right? There right. might be like of service. Or like Delia said, she might go to the store and see a cute pair of boxers and buy you that. And then she bought you a tie next time. And then she buy So her thing might be gifts if right. she's getting you gifts, right? And so I think just learning, looking at that food, right. if she's really like, oh, I decorated the plate and I did candles, right. like I, you know, I'm kind of into that. So it's like, oh, candle and dinner. That means she probably would love to go to a nice restaurant that's right. doing moody or make somewhere on the beach. So right. the romantic element is right. there. So just watch what she essentially does for you if right. you're a guy. And you're gonna start to get an indication of what it is. Of what it is that, that you can want. do for her. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think at the end of the day, you know, we are energy, we're energy beings. So if someone's trying to be, you know, give you something positively, like energetically, you have to receive it and thank them for it. Because sometimes yeah. I think that what happens is we block our own blessings because we're not allowing the person to bless us. And rather than being accepting, at least for me, that's what has yeah. been my experience where I'm like, no, 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 please don't. Uh, you don't need to buy me this or you don't need to get this from me or, you know, you know, and, and, and now in retrospect, as we continue to evolve as humans or whatever it is with what we're doing, I realize that I am continuously blocking my blessings because yep. I'm continuously feeling embarrassed to say, no, 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 it's okay. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I know I'm, I'm good. I don't need that. Instead of saying, thank you, I appreciate you, that's so sweet of you, thank you for, for being so thoughtful, and maybe they want to come from a place of giving, and I'm blocking that. Yeah. So I guess if you're on this side of like blocking yourself, open yourself up to receive. And if you're such a taker, maybe open yourself up to also give back. Give and in. don't be yeah. such a taker. You know, it's a give and take, and you always have to be gracious to whomever is giving to you, in my opinion. Yeah. It's so true, and Dai and I, we've talked about this off camera so many times about the about the blocking because because we have to go, okay, well, is it like a false modesty? Because we do right. like the gifts. Right. Um, and like, for example, with her, you know, people wanting to give her like extravagant gifts and like her going, oh, I don't know, you know, because on one hand, I think as women, we don't want to come off too giddy. And right. I always say, if a man that you're in love with gives you a car, gives you a piece of jewelry, a tennis bracelet, something very lavish. I don't care if he could afford a thousand of those things. Right. That still sets you apart. You recognize it's a very expensive gift. I don't know right. they, please let him see how excited you are. Be that little girl that's so excited to receive it right. because oftentimes not just saying, oh no, you shouldn't have blocking it. Also the energy of like, Oh wow, you should okay, well and then not and then and then calling or your what, friend or what about like the, acting like it's not, it's a, not huge a big deal. deal. Like, oh you got me this. Oh well they had it in blue. Did you have to get me the white one? Yeah. Because 
I mean, it's nice. I just don't know. I have so many of these. Like, and like, I've seen. And by the way, I've seen that so too. By the way, often. I've seen that have, so many so times often. too. And it's and like, I'm like, just say thank you. How about just a thank but you? But also, they're excited because they're bragging to their friends. Like, yeah, he got me this, but it should have been this color. And there's a weirdness about it. And at the end of the day, there's something that sometimes women do that we don't want the guy to know how truly excited they're making us. Right. And you got to do the work on that, ladies. We're not going to get into that in this show. Yeah. But I will tell you, for me personally, my fault is, yeah. my, we're talking a little bit about how we block our blessings. Yeah. When I receive a gift and I've received some lavish ones, right. I sometimes don't even open it. So yeah. <laughs> it's like a whole other extreme. Like she right. blocks it, doesn't want to receive it sometimes. I'm I like, I receive it, and then I go, oh, my God, thank you. I just love the fact that, like, you got me a gift. And I had to watch this etiquette thing not so long ago that's yeah. like, if someone hands you a gift bag, male or female, family or friend or lover, whatever, you're supposed to go, oh, wow, they open it and let them see your expression and your excitement. You know what I do? Oh, my gosh, this is so amazing. Hug, kiss, whatever. And then I put it somewhere like on the counter yeah. and then I'm like, so how have you been? So, how? And the person's like standing there. I do this to my female friends. I've done this I to do love interests. I do it too. Interest. And I always uh, ask though, do you want me to open it now or do, would you want me to wait? So the etiquette so, is to open it in front of them. Okay. Well, so for me, I always ask, do you want me to, and then it's, it's up to you. And so if they say it's up to you, they want you to open they, it. They want you to open it. So then I open it. But otherwise, I, I think everybody I, wants you to open it. I, I think so too. But I think there's one of those things where it's like, well, you kind of ask. And I think it's awkwardness of like, you know, the receiving, but yeah, I don't know I that we so went, I, I'm not sure that we went on a tangent, but it's I, not because it's part it's of the, part of if the, they're making an investment, an investment I we'll so. sit there as women saying, he doesn't do for me, but we're now talking about when they do do for us, ladies, what do we do? Look at the little toxic stuff that we then do. Yeah. And then we're surprised when they don't want to keep trying. Trying. Yeah. See? And sometimes you got to get the ball rolling. Sometimes, so yeah. if you've been dating, if you've been married a long time, it's nice to just surprise your significant other with something just that you saw. And you're like, you know what? This is going to look amazing on him or this is going to smell amazing or we're going on this trip. I'd like to see this shirt over dinner. And, you know, you more or less, you know, you, you know, your partner's like taste. So a maybe, little, I don't know, a, maybe you could do that. And a little bit goes a long way with the guys, which is really kind of funny. I don't know right. your experience, but yes. like. It's so funny because they're used to having to be the ones that do the, to gifts, give the gifts and everything. But when they get the gift, they're it like, could be the small oh. thing. I remember there was one particular person, workaholic, entrepreneur, very successful. And he said, hey, is there any way I'm going to actually be working late, but I would love for you to come down. And I was like, okay. And he's like, it's going to take an hour, but then afterwards we'll go to dinner. I said, okay. So I went out of my way. I went out. But before I stopped at the store, I got a little gift bag. And I remember I put like a Snickers and I put mm. a little note and I said, this is for the energy to blah, 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 blah. And then I put this other little thing. I'm talking like dollar, two dollar things. Right. And then everything had its purpose. Uh -huh. And one was like this little stress ball thing. And it's uh -huh. like when someone does a blah, and then you do this, whatever. Yeah. And so when I got there, he's like, oh, you know, okay, it's going to be a little bit. And I said, okay. And I just put it there. And then I went out to the little lounge area and I was waiting. And when I tell you, I could see through the glass. Yeah. And he was opening it. And with everything he took out, he Aww. read the note, and he looked out at me, Aww. and I was like trying to act, but by the way, trying to act cool, right? Yeah, I was acting like I didn't like, see him see me. Like, I didn't just do all but that. But when I tell you, I'm talking way later, we weren't even together, one of the things that stood out to him was, was that, that I did that. Aww. He said it was the most thoughtful thing. You see, I take, it's a little thing. It was make like it eight for the whole thing. I know, but it's <laughs> the little I mean? things that make the world a difference, yeah. honestly, on, on both ends. Yeah. From male to a female, female to a male. And then if you do the the male to the male, male female to the female, that's I cool. Mean, like if you do do that, like it's it's the little <laughs> things, literally. Like it's just being uh, conscientious and just being humanly. I mean that's really what it is. It. And, um, and if so, you feel it in you, make sure it. that it's leaving you and reaching the other person. Yeah, exactly. Even the smallest ways. And that's that's that's, that's a message. So. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to take a look at the show notes because we might have some links and some merch and some fun things for you there. Uh, don't forget to tell your friends, listen, we can only grow when you help us grow. So like, share, comment, all the things. And don't forget that you deserve, you deserve fresh lettuce. Salute. Cheers.